Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a super fun video, but I can't find the original video that I watched which gave me the idea for this video. Don't know what it's called, so I'm just going to call it the read your bookshelf challenge. I have no idea, but that's what we're going with. If you guys know, let me know down below what it's called and I'll call it that instead. Basically, what I did was ask on Twitter if you guys would send me a number between 1 and 4 and then a number between 1 and 100. And basically what I did was take those digits that you gave me and numbered my bookshelves 1 to 4. So 1 is over there, 2 is there, 3 is behind me, and then 4 is in the other room. And then count the second number of books down the shelf and that was the book that I chose and I have to talk about that book whatever book it may be. I actually got lucky and got four books that I've actually read before and one that I have. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So the first set of coordinates was 325 and I got the book The Stolen Twin by Michelle Pariza Wackick? Wasik? I don't know how to say that. But this is the one that I haven't read before but I read the back of it and it sounds so good so I'm thinking that I might honestly pick it up very soon. It follows a girl named Kit who has the ideal life or so it seems. She's got lots of friends, she attends a lot of parties, she's grabbing the attention of the star quarterback named Tommy. She's actually living a lie because her twin sister Kat was actually kidnapped when they were both seven and has never been heard from again. But then one Halloween night she actually thinks that she sees Kat but she's not 100% sure if it's her or not. So she starts looking into the past and trying to figure out if this is actually Kat and what actually happened to Kat that night that they disappeared and it's like a mystery kind of thing. I'm excited. I think I'm actually gonna read it soon. I'll let you guys know if I pick it up and what I think of it when that happens, but I'm intrigued, not gonna lie. The next set of coordinates I was given was 236 and that ended up being Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I love this book. I gave it a 4.5 when I read it last year and I was so excited about this because it was the first arc that I ever received from a major publisher so it has a very sentimental place in my heart because I freaked out when they contacted me because I didn't even contact them. They contacted me so I was feeling like a little popular child. <laughs> if you guys are not aware of what Heartless is about, about, but I'm assuming you are. It's the origin story of the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland and I actually have a full review of it if you want to see my full thoughts. I highly recommend the book and also it has my book boyfriend just in it so. The next set of coordinates I got was 169 and that ended up being The Museum of Heartbreak by Meg Letter and I also gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really remember enjoying it. I thought it was super cute and fluffy. It follows 16 year old Penelope who just recently felt heartbreak and then a boy named Keats who is a very popular boy in school is starting to pay attention to her. But in the process of him paying attention to her, her best friend Audrey is starting to grow very distant towards her. Then throw in the fact that her other best friend, F, is acting very distant towards her, very moody, and Penelope doesn't really know why. And it's basically the story of Penelope trying to navigate the new social triangle that she finds herself in, and it was just really good for the time that I read it. I personally found it very similar to Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, which I also really enjoyed. It also has like little graphics for each item that she catalogs into her Museum of Heartbreak so it was very similar to why we broke up but I personally thought it was super cute and fluffy so I really enjoyed it. I remember the themes of like friendship and family to be very strong in the book and I thought it was very well done and I definitely recommend it for contemporary lovers because it's super cute and fluffy which I've said a million times. The next coordinates I got were 429 and that ended up being Liesl and Poe by Lauren Oliver and I think I gave this a 2.5 when I read it. I honestly should have gotten rid of it but I just can't because it is such a gorgeous cover and when you take it off I just think it's so pretty and I could not get rid of it because it's just such a beautiful book. I don't remember much about 
about it. It follows a girl named Liesel who, after the death of her father, was locked into the attic by her stepmother. A ghost boy named Poe and his animal companion named Bundle arrive in her room one night and say that they're from the other side. And then it also follows a young boy named Will who's working as an apprentice for a very powerful sorcerer and he's told that he needs to deliver the most powerful magic in the world to the Lady Premier on the same night that Poe arrives. Unfortunately for Will, there's a giant mix-up that sends him on this big adventure and not only him but Liesel as well and it's like the story of that. And like I said, all I can remember is that I was bored with the overall story but I think that the themes that they talked about were done very well. Especially for a middle grade book, I think that it was done in a way that middle schoolers will understand. I also really liked the illustrations that they have in the book for every couple of pages. There were little like full drawn pages where the illustrations were, if I can find one because this is how life works when you're trying to show illustrations. You can never find them, but they were like super fun inclusions to the story, in my opinion. I just love mixed media books when they have like pictures in them. So yeah, that's all I remember about this book, to be honest. And then the last coordinates I got for this video was 222, and that ended up at being Dreamland by Sarah Dessen, and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars when I read it. It follows a girl named Caitlin who has always been in the shadow of her sister, but then her sister runs away, and she finally gets to step out of the shadow and be her own person. But she ends up meeting a boy named Rogerson and he's very toxic to her and they start a relationship and it's kind of like the path of that. And I personally thought it was a super well done abusive relationship story. I think that is portrayed very well. I remember reading it and being so frustrated with Caitlyn and just wanting to shake her and be like, get out. But then again, I know how hard it is when you're in that relationship to get out of it. I also remember that this was the first Sarah Dessen book that I actually really enjoyed reading because I think I read three before this one because Sarah Dessen is just like an autobi author for me. I have no idea why because I have like a love hate relationship with it but anytime I see Sarah Dessen I'm like need it. Alright guys so that was my read your bookshelf not 100% sure if that's what it's called tag. Uh, let me know down below if you want more of these videos because I was given a lot of coordinates I just chose five for this video. Also let me know down below if you've read any of the books I talked about in this video and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!